Terra Fuji is the strongest Rikishi in today's sumo. At 6 foot 3 and 176 kilos or 388 pounds, he is consistently strong in the clinch, durable, and notoriously hard to put away. With the state of his body, Terra Nafuji has had to develop a game that is almost exclusively reliant on upper body strength. Today we are doing some film study on the 73rd Yokozuna Terra Nafuji. We will look at how he attacks the arms of his opponents to gain the upper hand. In the sport of grappling, the overhook position is when two wrestlers are in a clinch situation and our wrestler loops his arm over the top and around his opponent. The underhook, which is the inverse, is largely seen as the dominant position, but sometimes a wrestler will forego that position for control of the arm and or to throw from there. The whizzer occurs when said wrestler lifts up from the overhook position, something we will discuss with Terra Nafuji shortly. Famously, John Jones, the UFC heavyweight and light heavyweight champion, cranked the arm of Glover Teixeira from the overhook position. On day one of the Hatsu Basho in 2024, Terra Nafuji returned to action after three straight Basho with injury. The Yokozuna roared back and reminded everyone that he was the top dog in the division with a crank on the shoulder of the ever athletic Yura. Off the Tachiya, Terra no Fuji will reach for the overhook and pull the arms of Yura upward, similar to a wizard. From here, Terra no Fuji looks to grab the back of the Mawashi but wasn't able to get the grip. In our next example, Terra Fuji tries to push Yura to the edge of the dohyo. Yura will plant and have a good strong base. Instead of overpowering Yura with his shot knees, Terra Fuji steps back with his right foot and keeps the overhook. He also locks his hands to sink in the grip and locking in Yura's arm. He will then switch hip direction and look to throw Yura by the arm. Now, while the Japanese announcers in this match were worried about the arm of Yura snapping, the real danger lies in the shoulder. It's the same lock Frank Mir used against Pete Williams, except from the guard. This was all the way back in 2002. Terra no Fuji doesn't always look for the wizard and overhook. While they are the bedrock of his game, he will commonly work with a lethal arm drag that he suckers people into. There are two main variations that we will go to consistently. The first is a straight up arm drag. This involves Terra no Fuji going two on one and pulling his opponent's arm across his body for a throw. Terra Fuji will read an opponent extending his arm and the Yokozuna will grab the wrist with his right hand and behind the tricep with his left. He pulls the arm across the opponent and pushes his left hand for the throw. Terra Fuji will also grab the wrist and the back of the Mawashi to toss his opponents off the dohyo. We start our next look with Terra Fuji having already pulled his opponent's arm across his body. He follows up by corralling the close side arm with his right and reaching behind his opponent. In our last frame, we see the belt grip that he snagged just before he throws his foe out. In our last look, we can see that as the two Rikishi are set, Terra Fuji shoots his right arm all the way across his body to grab his opponent's right arm. He uses this along with the left hand grip to pull his opponent across his body and to get the grip of the Mawashi. If it's not apparent, Terra Fuji's knees are absolutely shot. He's undergone many knee surgeries in both of his knees in the last decade and has had him sidelined for the longer and longer lengths of time. Terra no Fuji has adapted his game to be an upper body centric one that he utilized his way all the way to the rank of Yokozuna and beyond. When it comes to attacking the arm, Terra no Fuji didn't just have to become good at it, he had to become proficient if he wanted to become Yokozuna. He did just that. 
the ability to adjust your body to what you were given is what makes good athletes great. Conquering mental health led Tyson Fury to his comeback in boxing. Adapting to his own destroyed knees allowed Kamaru Usman to become UFC champion. Terra Nafuji had to do the same.